All right, welcome back to the Ultimate Mixdown. In this video, we're going to talk about the RS5K Manager script in Reaper. Now, we've discussed this before under the Ultimate Drum Rack in Reaper video, but that was version 3, and this is the latest and greatest version 4. This video is long overdue. Now, why RS5K Manager? Because instead of having to build out a drum rack completely yourself, this manager is highly versatile, very easy to use, the UI is great, and you can do a few steps to install it, and then you have it right at your fingertips ready to go. That's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, RS5K Manager is built on the powerhouse of Reassamplematic 5000 that comes free with Reaper as well. You don't even need to touch that because everything is working under the hood. Now, one thing to note, we'll be installing the RS5K Manager and the re GUI scripts. That second script does require you to have at the earliest, at the minimum requirements, a Windows Vista operating system or above and Mac 10.9 or above. Now before we get started I just want to say be sure to grab your copy of my free 7 steps to a pro mix. It's down in the description below. Let's dive right into this. The first thing you need to do is install Repack. So open your browser and go to Repack. So that's going to be at Repack.com R-E-A-P-A-C-K.com so select your operating system and that will download the pack for you. You can then go into Reaper and go to options, show Reaper resource path in Explorer Finder. And then you put that downloaded file that you got into the user plugin subdirectory. Now I'm gonna bring up the folder so that you can see exactly where you need to drag and drop that file. So options, show Reaper resource path in Explorer Finder. It's the same folder for both Windows and Mac. Then under user plugins, you drag that file that you downloaded. So in my case, it's the ARM64 version, but you drag that right here under the user plugins folder. And that's how easy it is to install Repack. Now, once you drag that into that user plugins folder, you're gonna have to restart Reaper, and then you can go down to Repack, and then we're gonna import repositories. Now we can click Discover Repositories to take us right to the Repack repository list. And then the ones we want are the MPL scripts. So you click on any of these links over here, and we'll do that for the MPL scripts. That's going to copy that link to your clipboard. Then back in Reaper, you can Command V or Control V to paste and click OK. Now Reaper knows where to go to grab the RS5K Manager scripts. So again, we'll go back into Extensions Repack, Browse Packages, and that'll pull up the Browse Packages window, and you can search RS5K. The one that you want is RS5K Manager. So when you're here, you want to install the script. So you click Actions and you click Install. I already have it installed, so it gives me an option to reinstall. And since I'm not on the latest, I have the option to update. So then once you click Install or Update, you can click Apply and then it'll go through. It'll apply the installation. It'll tell you exactly what was installed. You click OK. Once you see this little eye on the left, that tells you that the script has been installed. And another way to confirm that is by going to your actions list. So shift slash for actions list. Now if you search for RS5K, the one we're looking for is the MPL RS5K manager background script. Okay, so now we have this, but as I mentioned earlier, we need the re GUI script as well. And that's R-E-A-I-M-G-U-I. Now this script should have already been available when you installed Repack, so you should just be able to go to Extensions, Repack, Browse Packages, just like we did with RS5K Manager, and then we can search R-E-A-I-M-G-U-I. And the one we want is right down here. Now again, you go to Actions, then you can click Install, and then click Apply, and that will install this script as well. Now once you have both RS5K Manager and re GUI scripts installed, you're ready to go. One thing that I like to do, again going back to the actions list, is to add a shortcut to the script. Okay, so this is basically going to be something that you can press quickly on your keyboard and it'll pull the script up right away. It'll pull the drum rack up as soon as you press those buttons. So I've set mine to Option Shift D. All you have to do is click on the action right here and then you can click Add to add a shortcut. All right, and then you type your shortcut on the keyboard and click OK. So I did Option Shift D. Okay, and once you press it, or you can double click the action in the action list. It'll bring up the quick tips real quick. And it'll ask you if you want to select a parent track. We have absolutely no tracks in this session right now. So I'm just going to click insert new parent track. And it does the setup automatically. 
So now we have the parent track here for the RS5K manager. And then here are all our drum pads. Okay, and you can go through and you can get all of the notes for the MIDI keys. If you ever find yourself coming out of it by accidentally clicking away from the screen, you can always come back to it again by clicking on the track and then pressing your shortcut. Now let's get to the fun part. Let's go out of the drum rack real quick. Now we want to open our Media Explorer, navigate to our sample so we can pull those in to the drum pads so we can drag them to each individual note in the drum rack. So to do that, you open the Media Explorer, that's Command-I on a Mac or Control-Alt-X on a PC. And then you navigate to the folder that has your samples. I have my samples right here. So I'll go back to the track, open the drum rack back up, and I'm ready to start dragging and dropping. Now this can be used for a sampler for anything. You can use melodic instruments as well, but I'm going to be creating a drum rack. I'm going to put my mappings in the description below. So I'm going to start with the kick sample, and it's very easy. Click and drag, and kicks can typically go on C2. You can put it on any pad you want. But what happens here is it creates a kick track in Reaper, and then a kick, and then it creates the MIDI bus as well. And the MIDI bus is for the entire drum rack. This is very cool because when you go into the kick track, you can see Resample Medic 5000 here. This is where you manipulate your samples. You can change the tuning, you can change the length, but you don't have to go through the tedious process of creating an instance of Resample Medic 5000 and a new track for every drum or every sound that you put into your sampler because RS5K Manager manages that. Okay, so that's a kick, and when you put that in, you have a few options. You can mute it, solo it, or you can play it to hear it. Now you can right click if you need to. You can remove pad content. That'll get rid of the sample off the pad. You can import media items so you can bring something else in, and you can also import effects. Now if we click and drag over here, you're going to see something a little different when you highlight an individual pad. You have a sampler here as well, so you can manipulate the sample directly in RS5K Manager, similar to how you would in, in resample Matic 5000. So I'm going to go ahead real quick and just pull in the rest of my samples the same exact way, click and drag. And if you accidentally place a sample on a pad, you can click and drag it to a different pad. You could also click and drag it to another pad to switch the samples that were on the other pad with the, with the sample that you clicked. So this is very intuitive. And one thing to point out for the individual samples, under Boundary, there's options for Loop and Obey Node Off. Now you can add effects to each individual track by clicking in here. So you can add reverb to snares. You can add compression to kicks. You also have the option to just click on the pad within RS5K Manager and clicking effects right here. It does the exact same thing. Okay, so the track that you want to put your MIDI item on or you want to record your MIDI to is this MIDI bus track down here. And if you're going to use a MIDI keyboard, just make sure you set your input, MIDI input, and then select your MIDI keyboard. Obviously it has to be connected and on in order for Reaper to find it, and then you can put it in record mode. In this video I'm just going to draw the notes in manually. So I'll select the region that I want to create a MIDI loop on, and then you can do insert new MIDI item. And that gives you a blank MIDI item that you can draw your notes on. Double click that to go into the MIDI editor. You can see here that because I have the samples already in place, that I can go ahead and draw the notes and it's very easy to read and see. Okay, so once you put in your pattern, I've got kick, snare, hi-hat, hi-hat open. Then I just duplicated the region, so it's going to sound like this. Okay, now onto some more advanced features. Not too complicated, but pretty cool. You can actually layer multiple samples on the same note. So if I want to have a snare and a clap play at the same time, instead of going in and drawing clap notes where the snare is or copying and putting it down there, I can blend the two together by putting the sample on the same pad as the snare. And the way to do that is you go to this device menu over on the right. Make sure you click on your snare pad first. And then in the device menu, you can see you have the snare sample. But then take your clap sample, drag it to where it says drop layers here. And now you can see we have clap and snare both on the same pad. And what's cool about this is RS5K Manager automatically created a note track for the two samples, and the two samples are nested right underneath it. So in this case, now we have both of these samples playing at the same time. And let me pull up my virtual MIDI keyboard so you can see. So now you can hear the clap and the snare together. So I don't need this anymore, so I'll just right click and remove pad content, and that frees up that pad. 
And then if you still need to manipulate the samples, you want to adjust the sample length and decay and all of that, you can do that switching between the two samples here. So right now we're looking at the clap sample on this pad. If I click this checkbox, now we're looking at the snare sample on this pad. So you don't lose the ability to manipulate the samples just because you have multiple samples on the same pad. So very nifty feature. And then another really cool advanced option is using choke groups. In general, a drum kit only has one hi-hat. And the hi-hat open, the hi-hat close are basically played on the same cymbal, depending on whether it's open or closed. So to make that sound more realistic, Instead of recording your hi-hat opens and cutting them off at a certain time or when the hi-hat plays, you can do it automatically in the sampler. You would just take both of your sample pads for the hi-hats, the open and the closed, and you would go to Effects and select a choke group. So we'll do choke group 1 for our hi-hats. So the hi-hat open is at choke group 1. Then the hi-hat closed, I'll go to Effects, choke group 1 as well. And what that means is the hi-hat's going to ring out until something in the choke group stops it or until the sample is done playing because the choke group engages and cuts off that first sample when you play another sample in the same group like this now one last thing i want to leave you with before you go is to make sure that you save this track as a track template so right click and go down to save tracks as track template and then you can give a name for your track template so in this case i'll just say rs5k manager 4. okay and when you save that if you accidentally wipe out your entire track or you want to load up a new project and you want to have the same settings, then all you have to do is right click, new track from template, and then RS5K Manager 4. And it pulls in the main drum track with the RS5K Manager, and it pulls in all of the, all of the pads and all of the samples, as well as the MIDI bus. So you have everything ready to go. You set it up once, now you can go ahead and play or record. last thing I want to say is again grab that free seven steps to a pro mix in the description below that'll guide you through going through the steps in mixing your song and as always thanks again for joining the ultimate mix down hope this helped you out and I'll see you in the next video